Welcome to the Boxing Locker. I am Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach. And today in my Boxing 101 series, I'm gonna take you through how to defend the one two, okay? So we've discussed defending the individual punches, the jab and the cross in previous videos. We've discussed how to throw them, how to move with them, all them kind of things. Now we need to learn how to take two punches away from the opponent. This means combining two methods of defense, okay? So the first and foremost method of defense that we spoke about against the jab was the catch. Now we have to presume that our opponent has followed that catch up with a cross, okay? So I've caught the, cat, I've caught the jab, now I'm looking to defend the cross. So what could we do, right? We have multiple options, but my personal favorite is to slip straight outside of it, okay? So something we spoke about when we were defending the cross, we combine these two methods of defense, boxing position, I catch, firm catch, I drop over to this side. Weight loaded on that side, I can counter. So I catch, I drop over to that side. That's defense method number one. Catch, drop. Yeah, I get my head off that center line. Let's show you that in Southpaw. Remember, this is Southpaw to Southpaw, not Southpaw to Orthodox. Everything changes. I'll go through it in a later video. So I'm in my boxing stance, catch, and now I drop over to this side, defend. High lead inside hand, and I'm back in, yeah? Catch, drop, back in. Catch, drop, left shoulder to right hip, weight drops into my legs, using the ground to give me balance, give me that drive to come back into my own punches and also to give me a better center of gravity, just in case I happen to get clipped or wobbled. Now, that is the first method of defense, the catch and the slip. The second method of defense began with the barrier, okay? So the lead hand barrier, so I was coming here, all right? Now, what I'm gonna follow that up with is a roll, okay? So uh, we talked about that in the previous video, talking about defending the cross. So I'm gonna barrier the jab, I lift that hand up, they're gonna try and throw the cross, I'm gonna roll under, come back in a position to punch, right? So boxing stance, barrier pushes the jab up. Now I drop away from that cross and I come up, loaded, ready to throw. Barrier, and then roll under, come up. Barrier, then I roll under and come up. Barrier, then I roll under and come up, okay? Same thing in southpaw position. Balance, barrier, as I get to there, I roll under and I come up. Remember to keep lifting this hand, okay? I don't want to come out of it here. Barrier, and then I come up. Remember that shape that I spoke about with the roll? Go around in a circle. Barrier, and then I come round and up. Back into position, tucked in, ready to punch. So that's the second method of defense. Nice and simple, second method of defense. The third was the slip off of the jab. I'm gonna follow up once again with a roll. Now this one is a particular favorite of mine because it's ultra effective, very fluid, very smooth. It's really easy to learn because one part of it is already taking you halfway into the second part of it, right? So in my boxing stance, okay? I slip and I come down to here. That's my position, my weight's nice and evenly distributed. The cross is now gonna chop down here. I'm gonna drop and come back up outside of that cross. Remember what I said about this hand? Be a bit more relaxed now, that cross has gone over your head. You're ready to throw your own shots nicely loaded. So I, cap, uh, I slip and once I get to this point, shoulders level, I'm ready to roll under and I come back in position to punch. Slip, roll. What I was saying about halfway through is, normally when we roll, we would drop this way and come round and up. But now what this enabled us to do is drop. We've defended one punch, we're already halfway into the second defense, okay? Same thing in southpaw stance, I'm in my position. I slip, I roll under and I come up. I slip, I roll under and I come up. I slip, remember them hips going back? I roll under and I come up, yeah? Remember, it's no good doing this. I don't wanna lean forward. It's no good doing this. I don't wanna just drop. Hips offset, knees soften. I'm over to one side, hand tucks in. I'm in a good position to block everything. I come under and I come up, right? There we have it, the third method of defending the jab cross. And as I said, my favorite. My, my, not only is it my favorite, but it also I think looks the best because to dramatically make someone miss two punches is always a very impressive thing to see, particularly at a high level of competition. Uh, the next method of defense is a um, nice, simple step out. Okay, so we're gonna step out the way of the jab, boom, step back. Once we stepped out of the way of that jab, I'm then gonna defend the cross with the barrier. Okay, so I get in my boxing position, I step out the way of the jab, and I drop. 
Okay, remember how we defended that cross with a forearm block, a forearm barrier? Same thing, right? So boxing position, step back, drop down. That's defended the second punch, put you in a nice position to counter, taking your head out of that center line, okay? Step back, drop down, okay? Nice and easy. Step back, drop down. Spin it around, do it in southpaw, same premise. Step back, drop down. Remember that forearm strength is really important. We've got to make sure we have that rigidity through the arm and the upper body to protect ourselves. So I'm in my position, everything nice and narrow. Step back, drop down. Yeah, I can use that back leg to drive back forward into my shots. The final method of defense I'm going to take you through for this jab cross defense in this short video. I can't go into too much detail, but in the future I'll do longer videos for all of these things. You guys will be able to get a bigger picture of how to implement these things. The final method of defense I'm gonna take you through is a parry and a lateral step, okay? So I'm here, boxing position. I've parried the jab, right? So the jab has come here. Now I wanna move away from the cross. I don't wanna move into it, so I don't wanna step this way. I wanna move away from the right hand, so I'm gonna move that way. So I parry and then step to the right, okay? Again, I mentioned the parry being very dangerous before. This particularly is very dangerous because if my opponent faints the cross and throws the hook, I'm going to be stepping into it, right? So we want to be diagonal with that step. I don't want to go completely lateral. I want to parry here and then that's the direction I'm going in. Not that way, that way. So I disengage and exit, okay? Boxing stance, let's do it again. Parry, disengage and exit using that back foot, pushing off the front foot to escape. Box in position, parry, step out, okay? Remember, I'm not going directly back, I'm not going directly sideways. Using the box in position, parry, step out. Making sure that I come back into that position all the time. With that parry, remember to push past your own hand and then move yourself out of the way. There we have it. Very, very easy. Five ways to defend the jab cross. When I say easy, what I mean is easy to understand. Now it's down to you to do the hard bit. That is thousands and thousands of repetitions. Implement those things in a competition, in a combat scenario by uh, confidence, competence, and comfort, all right? If you don't do the reps, you won't be able to do that. You won't be able to get into a boxing ring, try and spar somebody and catch and then step out or parry and step out and uh, catch and slip and all those kind of things. You get comfortable with those, you make them easy for you, then it becomes easy to implement them under pressure that's when you really, really level up. That's when you become very effective at boxing and at fighting generally. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll reply to every comment that I possibly can, if I can, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the series and make sure you're ready for all the videos that are to come. Have a great day.